Now, my new book, My Very Silly Monster, Book of Opposites, I have to come up with some new monsters. And that's a problem, because I have to come up with a fresh monster. Will you help me with that today? Okay. The first question I always ask is, how many eyes does our monster have? Uh, six. That's a great number. You guys cool with six? Six is a good number. Let's go with six, okay? Wait, reason why, and I'll show you in just a second, okay? Okay. You gotta count it with me, all right? You gonna count with me? Okay, ready? One, two, three, four, five. Oh, here. Six. How's that? And then I'm gonna. This one's looking at, I don't know what that one's looking at. Okay, and this one's looking at, you guys right down there. This one's looking over to the side. And this one's looking straight ahead. Okay. So now, we have six eyeballs, don't we? Now, we have to give those eyeballs a place to land. That means a place to live. And that's that hole in our head where our eyes sit. What's that called? socket, right? So we're going to give them a place to land here. Okay. And maybe a few stray hairs there, here and there. Okay. Now, we're going to draw some fuzzy fur. I like my monsters to be soft and cuddly and fuzzy. How about you guys? Yeah? Okay. All right. Now, is our monster having a good day or a bad day? A good day? I love your positive energy. That's awesome. Well done. All right. Let's have a good day, okay? All right. I'm going to draw a happy smile. I'm out here. Smile. I'm happy with that. Now, where I grew up in Illinois, these teeth like this had a name. They were called summer teeth. Some are here, some are there. <laughs> okay. Now, what's he so happy about, huh? Oh, I have an idea. I have a really, this is the part where we use our superpower of imagination and creativity, okay? This is the part that's really kind of cool. Now, we have Five eyes here, we have a sixth eye here. And we have to figure out why he's so happy. It kind of makes part of the story. Maybe, just maybe, he's happy. Because it's snack time. Maybe he got himself a snack. Ew, a snack. But you know, yummy. yummy eyeballs. But you know what? It's a chocolate eyeball. It's better than Belton chocolate, monster chocolate. Okay, so that's a candy, candy eyeball, and it's all drippy and gooey, and you know why? They dip it in maple syrup. Yum, right? Okay. All right, now, how about some horns for our monster? What do you guys think? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, how many horns should we have? Seven. Seven horns. Oh, that's a lot of horns. Let's do that, okay? Okay, one. Stripes are in this year in Hornville, okay? Two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we're out of spaces here. Oh, you know what? I have, how about over on this side somewhere? Should we do one over there? No. No, no on the top bar. On the top? I have a really cool idea. I'm gonna use, use my imagination again. Are you ready? Are you ready? Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's try this. There 
There you go. Where's another horn? Okay. <laughs> Nobody said it had to be that kind of horn, did we? No wonder he's so happy. He's got a snack. He's got some music. He's got soft and cuddly fur. It's a pretty happy monster. Yeah. I bet he smells like lavender. What do you think? Yeah? You ever smell a monster? I bet not. I bet they... I bet they're kind of stinky. I get to meet a well-groomed monster anyway. So, we'll put a couple of up there. Okay. Now, feet. We need to have some. Let's put a belly on here. How about a belly? And then the whole belly is complete without a what? Belly button. Belly button. Yay, people. All right. <laughs> okay. Any Sandra Wooden fans? <laughs> okay. Do we have to have feet? If I'm the artist and I'm holding the marker, do I have to have feet? Oh, feet. Can I do something different? Yeah, I do walk around. How would you walk around? How about this? What do you think of this? Like that? Pretty neat, huh? Now, let's give that monster a really cool name. What would be a cool name for that monster? Huh? Uh, Zoe. Zoe. <laughs> Zoe. Do you know somebody named Zoe? <laughs> Do you? I wonder who that could be. <laughs> would you spell that Are you with? Shelly like that, Zoe? Would you, how many J's do you spell that with? Zero. <laughs> <laughs> Is it Z O E? That's a Zoe monster. How's that? My you father need a bag, Zoe. Okay. <laughs> All right. Did you guys like that? Isn't that kind of fun? Okay. Now. I'm going to hang this fellow head for you to match your Ranger shirt. That sound good to you? Oh, that looks so good for you. That's a good look for you. Go ahead and give everybody your superhero pose. Look at your mom. Go, awesome, excellent. Okay, Oliver, here's what I need you to do. I need you to stand right there for me for just a second. I'm just gonna warm up this marker and get it really warmed up nicely so that when I get a new sheet of paper out here, I'm going to have you hold this sheet of paper for me while I get a new sheet ready, okay? And up. Okay, now, if you wouldn't mind, I'm going to have you hold this sheet while I get a new one ready. And all I got to do is just have you hold it right in front of you, right in front of your waist, just like that for me. Which, please? <laughs> Sportsmanship? Yeah? Do you think that would be a good, good one? You could be like super sports guy? Yeah? So let's do this, Oliver, okay? I want you to stand there and look all super for me. It's not hard for you to do. Okay? And I want you to do that for me real quick here. I'm just going to do this, okay? I'm going to imagine you as a real superhero. Okay?
Makes her really good at dribbling. You better shoot her dribbling. What's that? Dribbling? Yes, I was never that good at dribbling because I had to take feet. The ball would always hit the top of the foot and bounce it somewhere else. Okay. So here's what I want you to do. I'm guessing because you play basketball, you have some giant muscles that you have. Okay? And I'm going to guess that. I got a paper, but I'm going to pick a ball just like this. Does that look a lot like you? No. Especially this part here? <laughs> you know how I know how to draw muscles so well? I filled my house with mirrors. <laughs> okay. We'll draw the six pack. Okay, there you go. Now, I think it would be unfair to say you'd be super dribbler because that would be a whole different picture. <laughs> I think, I think that uh, super basketball guy is kind of cool. So I'm gonna do this. Call you shoot, they call you BB. Okay, it's not basketball. Okay, some people might mistake you for baseball, but because you have your secret weapon, of basketball, they'll know exactly what we're talking about, right? You have your utility belt. What's your utility belt for? Keep all your utilities, right? <laughs> all right. So let's put, let me make that a giant O inside there for all over, okay? And then you would have your gadgets in there, right? So maybe you had like a secret spray, like in a Disney movie, you know, where you spray them on your shoes and you would bounce. Remember that? Okay. <laughs> so now we're going to escape. Now, you have to have your cape on. And then, we have to have like your superhero outfit, you have striped boxer shorts. That's what the Hall of Globetrotters had. <laughs> Everybody do stripes? Pretty cool. Most guys rock it, right? Okay. Now. Alright. What do you think? Do you like it? Huh? I think it's pretty cool. Let's just do this. I asked that because I had an AR once and I had a true So it's important that when you're traveling around talking to kids about how to be super, know how to spell super. Otherwise, he would be supper basketball guy. <laughs> okay. That's a mistake you only want to make once. Okay. okay you, do you like that? You think it's pretty cool? Who else? Awesome. Hey, that was fun. I will take the cake from you, and I'll let you go have a seat. Okay? Give all our big, all our big hand. Okay. All right, here's one up over here. Okay? We're gonna hang up right on top of here. All right? And just make sure that the bottom half doesn't fall. I'm gonna take this right over top of it. There we go. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah.